Which is better, Stripe or Lemon Squeezy for adding payments into your bubble app? As a quick overview, the core payment provider features are basically very similar. Uh, both will allow you to do one-off purchases and both will allow you to to do subscriptions. But let's first of all start on Stripe as you know they're the dominating force in this space and also technically Lemon Squeezy is it's much more than this. I don't want to undermine their company at all. I really like them, but it's basically a wrapper with additional features around Stripe. They use Stripe at their core. But let's start with Stripe. And one of the, the key things is that Bubble has got a, a plugin that they've developed uh, that adds in a lot of deep integration in with your Stripe account. For example, the fact that your Bubble app has got multiple versions, at the very least, it's got a live version and a dev version, uh, that the Bubble app will automatically mirror that into your Stripe test version and your Stripe live version. You also, uh, the, the integration goes deeper because uh, Bubble will add in additional fields on current users, such as the Stripe ID, and even going down into particular like subscription endpoints, like you could say current users subscription and get a list of the subscriptions that they've currently got going. Um, so on one hand, Stripe is very quick to get going with Bubble. On the other hand, and this is why I think uh, Lemon Squeezy has been increasing in popularity, uh, because um, Stripe at its core was like a developer tool uh, in, in the coded sense. And then I've seen over the last few years that Stripe has been adding in many features such as like a hosted checkout and customer portals uh, that mean that you don't have to be a developer to use many of their services. They're making it more uh, no code friendly in many respects. Um, Lemon Squeezy, I think, takes that to the next step. They've got a much clearer dashboard. Uh, a lot of the technical stuff uh, is available, but uh, they basically keep it simple and make it very uh, easy to get started with their platform. And so, like I said, with Stripe, you can add in checkouts. You, so you basically do, a, do it like a, a redirect. You bounce your user onto the Lemon Squeezy checkout. They complete their checkout. Any webhooks are sent very similar to Stripe. Uh, so so that you can update, uh, you know, is the user subscribed or unsubscribed in your bubble database. Uh, and uh, all the transaction information, of course, goes through Lemon Squeezy. One of the main differences is going to be pricing. And this will, of course, vary depending on what part of the world you're in. Um, but overall, the impression, I think, uh, you know, we can see the differences here. Lemon Squeezy, I mean, again, because they, they use Stripe, uh, yeah, everything on top of everything they run is basically on top of Stripe. Uh, of course, they have to add a surcharge onto that. So the transaction fees are higher on Lemon Squeezy, but on their pricing page here, they make uh, yeah they are making it clear that there are additional features. Um, so a a, a pro a plus in the Lemon Squeezy column is the fact that you've got email marketing and you've got affiliates built in to your payment provider and that can really help you up in those uh, help you in those early mvp stages because uh, you're not having to pay for and integrate in two other services so that you can email uh, different segmentations of your users depending on what plan they're on Lemon Squeeze has got that all built in and then if you're uh, launching a, a, an app uh, that uh, lends itself to like affiliate marketing then also, Lemon Squeezy has got that built in, uh, and there's a number of different software packages that I've purchased, which uh, they all run through the Lemon Squeezy affiliate portal, which means that me as someone who occasionally shares links can view all of the, the links that I'm sharing all in one go. And lastly, and I see a lot of people talking about this on X slash Twitter, is that uh, apparently, uh, again, this depends on what part of the world you're in, uh, the implications for how you handle and you record and collect your tax uh, is made easier with Lemon Squeezy than with Stripe. I, I get the impression that a lot of people find the Stripe uh, tax side that they're offering to be quite taxing. Uh, whereas uh, from what I've read, Lemon Squeezy uh kind of takes care of it and so you can think of that as being part of the overall cost here um last thing i saw a discussion yesterday on twitter about basically there is a certain list of um of products and services that uh, you can't sell through them and squeezy uh, of course you know both have got like the uh, illegal 
uh, things that you you can't put you know you can't charge users for uh through the platform same with stripe same with lemon squeezy um but before you invest in in setting up your bubble api connector setting up your account getting verified all that sort of thing i would really make sure that uh you read through their t's and c's check the uh type of transactions that they would allow uh and permit you to put through uh, before you invest your time in them. So there's my quick overview of Lemon Squeezy and Stripe. Uh, it's going to really vary depending on the individual. Personally, I think it comes down to the transaction fee. Uh, but then again, I'd say that Lemon Squeezy may well be the easiest one to integrate in with Bubble, even though Bubble has got its own Stripe plugin. Um, because the Lemon Squeezy dashboard, it just takes the technical level down uh, in order to do basic things such as one-off purchases and subscriptions. Now, if you think there's another payment provider you'd like me to comment on, or you've got a comment to do with Stripe or Lemon Squeezy, then please do leave a comment down below. Mm -hmm.